Perhaps no automotive component or system inspires so many questions when due for maintenance than a vehicle's transmission. More specifically, many people wonder whether changing a vehicle's transmission fluid is preferable to completely flushing the transmission. Learn more about the advantages of these two services as well as when it is appropriate to perform each of them by watching the video. It's Max the Car Guy YouTube channel. Subscribe and let's get started. Transmission Fluid Change A transmission fluid change is one of the most fundamental types of transmission maintenance. Almost all automakers outline the requirement for such services at predetermined intervals. There are a few fundamental ideas about transmission fluid change services that every driver needs to be aware of. Draining the entire contents of the transmission sump and changing the fluid filters are required when changing a transmission's fluid. Dropping the transmission pan of a car is a common part of this procedure, especially if a drain plug or orifice is absent. The majority of vehicles have transmission filters, which must also be serviced by removing the transmission pan. Every manufacturer outlines predetermined service intervals for changing transmission fluid. This distance is typically between 30,000 and 50,000 miles, though some are considerably higher. One should always seek advice from their vehicle's owner's manual when in doubt. The price of changing a car's transmission fluid varies depending on the kind of shop where the work is done. However, most places charge between $100 and $250 for a fluid and filter change. Comparatively, one can replace the transmission fluid in their own car for $75 to $150. Transmission Fluid Flush A transmission flush is another widely used type of transmission service. These kinds of services are intended to completely swap out all of the fluid in a car's transmission, torque converter, and transmission cooler. There are a few fundamental ideas about transmission flush services that every driver needs to be aware. Flushing a transmission entails removing all old fluid from the transmission of a vehicle and all associated parts. The transmission is simultaneously refilled with fresh, the right kind of transmission fluid. During this procedure, a vehicle is also started to make sure the torque converter in the transmission is also filled. In contrast to a typical fluid change, which only exchanges about 50% of the total fluid, in this procedure up to 85-90% to of the fluid is changed. When it comes to the recommended timing for a transmission flush, today's automakers vary greatly from one another. While the majority recommend that these services be performed between 60,000 and 90,000 miles, at least a few manufacturers have now completely revoked their recommendations. The price of a transmission flush varies from one shop to the next, just like it does for any other maintenance procedure. However, one should budget between $150 and $400 to have their car's transmission flushed. Should you flush transmission fluid if it's never been changed? The majority of repair shops and independent mechanics concur that a high-mileage transmission that has never had its fluid changed shouldn't be flushed. This is because the majority of auto flush devices use pressures that are relatively high, easily exceeding those seen under typical operating conditions, and even leading to a leak. As a result, particles and deposits that are currently not harmful may become dislodged and forced into more delicate areas of the transmission. In general, high mileage transmissions that have never had this type of service are advised to get a basic fluid and filter change. Only this procedure will be able to improve the lubricating fluid in a transmission. If the fluid color does not significantly improve, this service can be repeated again in 1-2 months. What can happen if you never change transmission fluid? As a result of ongoing heat exposure, transmission fluid degrades significantly over time. This results in a general loss of viscosity and prevents a vehicle's transmission from cooling effectively, especially during high-strain applications. This in turn speeds up the breakdown of the transmission fluid in the car, aggravating the current problem. Transmission fluid deteriorates over time, making deposits easier to accumulate. Small orifices within the valve body of an automatic transmission can consequently easily become blocked. As such a condition worsens over time, the filter of a transmission also tend to become constrained. Hope the information was useful for you. If so, please press the like button and subscribe to the channel.